one of the key factors to social intelligence is your ability to listen. Not only to listen with your ears, but also listen with your attention and paying attention to detail. Some of this comes back to emotional intelligence or EQ in active listening. So with engineers, we very typically are not very emotionally or socially calibrated. So it's not unusual to have two engineers in the same room having monologues pointed at each other because they're not paying attention to the other person. Active listening is the exact opposite of this. In active listening, you could get to the point where you're almost finishing the other person's sentence because you're trying to understand what they're saying and why they're saying it instead of just listening to respond because that's not listening at all. You're just waiting your turn and stepping on the other person. When it comes to enhancing your listening skills with social intelligence, it really comes down to if you understand and are paying attention to where the person you're talking to sits on the social totem pole within the organization or group that you're in. So where is this person? Are they several levels above you? Are they at your level? Are they below you? Understanding where they are and how they interact. So if you have someone who's from a sales background, their interaction style is gonna be considerably different on average than someone who's a software engineer. Those communication styles being so disparate, if they are, is gonna cause you to have to work on your listening skills to be able to understand and listen to both parties. Because sometimes the medium is the message. So sometimes the context matters more than the content, depending on what you're talking about. Typically in engineering, all we care about is content. We don't care about the context, but sometimes you're going to have to. In social intelligence, you're going to have to read between the lines and see the things that are unsaid. As you get higher up in your organization and you start maybe talking with people outside the organization, there's gonna be a lot more politics than if you're just staying in your little lab or whatever little group you're in and maybe your work output only goes to an internal customer. That's gonna be considerably different social intelligence required to be able to deal with that. So do you understand the social landscape of your organization and how you fit in it? That's something that you need to go figure out for yourself because nobody's coming to save you. Once you know where you sit in the organization, working on your listening skills can be as easy as active listening with whoever you're talking to. So when you're listening to someone, are you actually listening to try to understand their position? So maybe they're at your level and they're trying to come to you with a technical challenge they're having, and are you trying to help them? Are you trying to be an ear for them to talk to? What is it? What's the goal here? And are you listening to their actual problems? Understanding those listening skills is very important to help you learn how to have better attunement for others, which is a social intelligence topic, as well as how to have better empathic accuracy so being able to read the person even before they speak. Now we're talking some serious social intelligence there. This will let you grow your professional network and really get a lot more done in the same amount of time, which will look very good for you when it comes to performance review, promotion, and raise discussions. I trust you've been paying attention to this social intelligence video thus far. I want to help you pay even better attention to your emotional and social intelligence by clicking the link below this video and scheduling a free call with me. On the call, we'll come up with a personalized plan for you to start getting bigger raises, faster promotions, and stronger relationships with everyone around you. Don't delay, click that link below and schedule a call with me today.